In this video, we are going to see Johnson Controls Metis's M4CCM controller overview and technical data. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube channel. Device Overview CCM controllers run pre-engineered and user-programmed applications. You can expand their input and output interfaces by connecting XPM or IAM series I.O. expansion modules. CCM controllers include an integral real-time clock, which enables the controllers to monitor and control schedules, calendars, and trends, and operate for extended periods of time as standalone controllers when offline from the Metasys system network. These controllers feature a faster PID loop and faster analog input refresh rates as compared to other devices to ensure laboratory and healthcare settings are safe for all occupants. Material Data, Enclosure Material, ABS and Polycarbonate UL945VB Self-Extinguishing, Processor, RX64M Rincesson 32-Bit Microcontroller, Memory, 16 MB Flash Memory and 8 MB SD RAM, Real-Time Clock Backup Power Supply. Supercapacitor maintains power to the onboard real-time clock for a minimum of 72 hours when supply power to the controller is disconnected. Protection Class, IP20, Weight, 0.5 kg, Dimensions, Height 150 mm, Width 190 mm, Depth 44.5 mm. Accessories, XPM Series Expansion Modules. IOM Series Expansion Modules, Controller Configuration Tool Software, Mobile Access Portal, NS8000 Series Network Sensors, Transformers, Field Inspection Tool, Portable Backnet, ip tmis TP Router, Controller Terminals. CCM controllers have removable input and output terminal blocks. All of the input terminal blocks are located on the bottom of the controller and the output terminal blocks are located on the top of the controller. This is binary outputs terminal block. This is configurable outputs terminal block. This is analog output terminal block. This is device address rotary switch block. This is supply power terminal block. This is sensor actuator bus terminal block. This is field controller bus terminal block. This is end of line switch. This is Universal Serial Bus 2.0 Host Type A Port. Note, the USB feature is not currently supported. This is Binary Input Terminal Block. This is Universal Inputs Terminal Block. This is FC Bus Port. The FC Bus Port on the front of the controller is an RJ12, 6 position modular jack that provides a connection for the mobile access portal gateway. This is sensor, ESA bus, port. The ESA bus port on the front of the controller is an RJ12, 6 position modular jack that provides a connection for the MAP gateway, the VAV balancing tool, specified network sensors, or other ESA bus devices with RJ12 plugs. This is power LED. This is fault LED. This is ESA bus LED. This is FC bus LED. This is FC EOL LED. Input and output capabilities. Universal inputs. Binary inputs. Configurable outputs. Analog outputs. Binary outputs. Electrical data. Power supply is 24 volt AC. Frequency is 50 or 60 Hz. Power supply class is 2. Safety extra low voltage. Power consumption is 14 VA maximum. Power source, plus 15 volt DC power source terminals provide 100 mA total current. Mounting, horizontal on single 35 mm DIN rail mount, or screw mount on flat surface with 3 integral mounting clips on controller. Mounting space requires an additional 50 mm space on top. Bottom and front face of controller for easy cover removal, ventilation and wire terminations. Communications, communications protocol is back netmis, TP and Metasys N2, device addressing for back netmis, 
TP and N2 is decimal address set using three rotary switches, communications bus, for three wire FC bus between the supervisory controller and equipment controllers. For four wire S bus between equipment controller, network sensors and other sensor, actuator devices, includes a lead to source 15 volt DC supply power to bus devices. Compliance, UL listed, EMC Directive, ROHS Directive, Regulatory Compliance Mark, Back Net Testing Laboratories, UK Conformity Assessed, If the controller fails to operate within its specifications, replace the controller. For a replacement controller, contact your Johnson Controls representative. Ambient Conditions Operating temperature is 0 to 50 degrees Celsius. Operating humidity is 10 to 90 percent RH non-condensing. Storage temperature is minus 40 to 80 degrees Celsius. Storage humidity is 5 to 95 percent RH non-condensing. Well, I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our video. Have a great day.